Good morning, this is JHS Weekly, I'm Mariah Vasquez. And I'm Maxine Hang. Book Club will be taking their yearbook picture on Thursday, February 2nd, after school, outside of Miss Adcock's room, which is D319. If you are planning on bringing an outside guest to homecoming, you must submit the request form for approval before today. You will be notified only by email if your guest is not approved to attend. The link can be found in your Transitions class in Canvas. And now here's Emma Williams with some insight into the world of high achievement. Getting into a good college or simply taking advanced courses has many students feeling distraught and alone. Stressing is bound to happen at some point, especially when you are stressing for success. How I deal with being under so much pressure and um, involved in so many things is I just try to remember why I'm involved in those things and why I'm so passionate because I don't join anything that I'm not passionate about. I'm constantly stressed out. I'm constantly thinking about everything I have to do. Like I literally sit in bed and I'm like, I have so much stuff I need to be doing. Like sleep is such a waste of time for me. And like I only get, like I think I got like three or four hours of sleep last night just because I was up, you know, doing things and like trying to figure out, you know, yearbook stuff or whatever it may have been. When I'm stressed out, I, um, I try and take a break, I try and hang out with my friends. I try to just forget for a second about what I'm supposed to be doing. Hard classes really do affect every aspect of my personal life because my personal life is structured to tailor to what classes I'm taking and how much work I have to put into my classes. So for example, like if I want to do something like social with my friends, it usually comes after I do homework, which to some people doesn't sound fun, but to me it's like where I need to get in life. The biggest thing is you need to be organized. So my biggest tip is to buy a planner and write down everything you need to do, which might seem stressful, but it's really helpful to visualize how you need to organize your day so that you do have time to do things that um, are necessary in order to take the stress away. Taking hard classes really does affect your mental health, especially if you forget to do things that really make you happy. So doing well in school is a life goal of mine, and it does make me happy when I succeed, but the toil it takes definitely affects my mental health. From Jet HD, I'm Emma Williams. Thanks, Emma. Those of you that are having trouble surviving the ACT, here's Jessica Finnegan with some hope. Part of being a junior or a senior is taking your ACT. If you are a student who is nervous, here are some tips. I think everybody is familiar with, because I think in transitions, the juniors teachers have been talking about the ACT prep class. So that's all we do in that class. Um, I give them tips on how to take the test and things to do. I don't. You know, everybody knows you should sleep well the night before and um, eat a breakfast, those kind of things. We don't focus on that. We talk about how, the, how to control the test instead of the test controlling them. A lot of it is time management because on the math section you have to do 60 questions in 60 minutes. And it can get pretty overwhelming. So what we do is we talk about how, how can I control this test versus the test controlling me. So um, another one would be to have multiple pencils, all of them out before you start the test. Because, and that's a time saver, if you break your lead, you just put that one off to the side and grab another one that's ready to go. So if you have five or six of them there, you know you're not going to have to spend any time sharpening your pencil or fumbling through your purse or, or anything like that. Um, another one is you can have two calculators there. Uh, a lot of my students will want to do that. If You can set one of them in decimal form and the other one in fraction form. But you can't have both calculators on your desk at once. You have to put one on the floor and put the other one on your desk and swap them out that way. Um, people with long hair. Uh, I have been finding out that it's good to tie it up because a lot of times when you're bubbling, you can lose time by messing with your hair. So that's, that's another tip. Um, bubble in all of the answers at the end. Don't take time to bubble as you go. There's a couple reasons why we do that, um, that we go over in the, in the class. I'm Jessica Finnegan with Jet HD. Thanks, Jessica. Sophomores, if you're interested in being in a Franklin Tech program and have not been interviewed, please visit the Franklin Tech Guidance Office or email the counselor at erlenwhite at joplinschools.org. Seats are filling and enrollment is soon, so don't miss your opportunity for a career training. Red Out t-shirts are available for purchase during all four lunch periods. The price of the t-shirts are $10.
Here's an update on homecoming with Heaven Hudson. The JHS basketball homecoming will be held this Friday, February 3rd. The game starts at 7 and the dance will follow immediately after in Gym 3. The homecoming queen will be announced during halftime, so be sure to come out and support the JHS Eagles. It feels really good to be nominated. I wasn't expecting to be nominated at all. Um, I didn't even know that the voting was going on. So to be called down to the office and told that I was nominated by my class was just a really cool feeling um, that they thought that I deserved to be one of the queen candidates. I am actually wearing a yellow dress. It's like princess kind of. I went to Springfield and got it this weekend. <laughs> I think it feels pretty cool to be nominated for homecoming queen. Like. It's a one lifetime experience, I guess. Like, not very many people get to do it. It was exciting at first, and then I was just overwhelmed with stress because homecoming is pretty soon, and it was had to get the dress, you got to make a hair and nail appointment. But overall, it's a good feeling, good experience for me, I think. Thanks, Heaven. The 2017 Winter Homecoming Queen will be crowned tomorrow night during the basketball game. Following after the basketball game will be the homecoming dance. Tickets can be purchased in the cafeteria during all lunches for $6. At the door, admission will be $10. Congratulations to junior Ashley Allgood for being elected Region 11 FCCLA President. Region 11 covers all 11 county area of Southwest Missouri. Regional officers have an opportunity to be involved in family, career, and community leaders of America above the local level. As Region 11 President, Ashley will represent Joplin High School at both the FCCLA State Leadership Meeting in Tantara in March and the National Leadership Meeting in Nashville, Tennessee. In July, senior Hunter Jordan was chosen to participate in the FCCLA Legislative Shadowing Program in Jefferson City. She will spend two days touring the state capitol, shadowing legislators, and experiencing lawmaking firsthand. Megan Gorley Owen and Emily Reynolds both received the Bronze Award at Region 11 Star Events last Friday. Congratulations, FCCLA members. Now here's Cues with Katie. Hi, I'm Katie with Katie Cues. What are you doing for homecoming? I'm just going to chill and hang out and stuff. I'm not going. I'm going to go watch the Eagles get a W and then dance with my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, I guess I'm just going to the game. I'm going to be chilling with my friends. We are going to eat with all our friends before, and then we're all going to go to the dance and then hang out with some of our friends afterwards. I am going to homecoming, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. This has been JHS Weekly. Have a great week.